Okay, it's daylight. We're back at it again. Heading down to Paramount for another day on the stage. It should be an easy day, fun day, hopefully. <laughs> kind of controlled environment, which is nice. Yeah, we'll see what today has for us. So my tip of the day comes down to keys and stuff you keep in your pockets. My suggestion to you is to get any keys, extra things that you don't need all day long that are just gonna be sitting in your pocket for 14 hours a day and put it in your backpack or whatever you got. Store that somewhere safe because having extra baggage, extra change, extra keys really kind of affects you during the day whether you realize it or not. It's gonna poke your legs and be uncomfortable. So the less you have to carry with you at all times, the better. That's my tip. All right, friends, today on Hacking Hollywood, we're gonna talk about perseverance. We're talking about that because I was given the task to find mints for an actor, specifically mint-flavored Altoids. So um, it's raining and I went to three different places to try to find it. They didn't have it. You know, I could have stopped at the first place or the second place, but ultimately I found out that it wasn't here on the lot, right? I was able to find out that they have it at Pavilions, which is around the corner. So the whole point is you can be stopped by many obstacles along the way. You can have a bunch of no's and a bunch of things slow you down, but if you're determined, you can push there and find what you're looking for. All right, my friends, 8 a.m. call. It is now 11.37 on my way to my car. Another long day of set. What's that, almost almost 16 hours. I have a super early call tomorrow. You would think it sucks, but I'm, I still have a little bit of energy. Maybe it's because I just took a couple weeks off before getting on this gig. So this is day four for me coming up tomorrow. Thankfully, the production got me a hotel because working this late can get a little crazy and getting up that early. Driving from an hour away from the lot, that time adds up. So it's down the street and go get my truck, drive over there, come back in like six hours, six and a half hours. So welcome to the production world. <laughs> today was a good day. What did I learn today? Today, I was reminded that sometimes you have to ask questions and I had to ask for the hotel. You know, it doesn't hurt to ask. They, they said yes and it paid off. You know, I could have just tried to drive home and come back, but that could have been dangerous. And there's been a good number of accidents that have happened over the years with people working 16 plus hour days and then trying to go home. So that's why a lot of the studios allow people to do that because they want to keep you at least a little bit safe. I know working 16 hours plus is not very safe, but if the production is treating you right, they should treat you to a hotel or at least offer you one. I had another fun conversation today about what's called making your day. I used to think making your day meant covering everything on the call sheet, shooting all that within a 12 hour window. Another person thought it was shooting everything in your day regardless of the time, making your day, doing everything on the call sheet. So. What do you guys think? Do you think it is shooting everything within the 12 hour period? Or is it just shooting everything no matter how late you finish during the day? So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Spoiler alert, everybody voted for no matter how much time you spent during the day. So I don't know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Give me a comment. Hey friends, I got one more pro tip for you. I would suggest that you leave a bag like my orange bag back there in your car that has at least one pair of spare clothes or two or three how many you can get that's gonna be really helpful if you do end up crashing at somebody's house or you have a production that runs really late and they offer you a hotel at least you'll have a spare bag of clothes and some toiletries and that kind of stuff so that you're prepared for those long days and also in life you know you might get stuck somewhere or want to hang out with a friend real late crash at their house or something and you have a pair of clothes that you can pull out of that bag and uh, relax in so that's something good to have so all right guys see you later